So you want to be able to type above a line in Microsoft Word. You can see I've got my example here. If I go down to the sort code line, I can just type in my sort code and it will appear above the line. The line doesn't move, the line doesn't disappear. Okay, let's see how we can do this. Now you can start off with your labels and I've just put them on separate lines. Then what you want to do is select those labels, go to the insert tab on your ribbon, go to table, and then convert text to table. Leave the number of columns as one and then just click on OK and go to the layout tab and you want to insert a column to the right. That will create two columns in your table. And then what you can do is drag this middle line over to the left. Make sure you've got enough room for your labels. And then on this side, you need to decide how long you want the lines to be. So at the moment, the lines go right across the page. But if I drag the right side of the table over, I can shorten the length of the line. Right, your next step is to get rid of all the borders on the table. So you need to select the table first, and you can do that with this little button, top left of the table. Click on it, that selects the whole table. And if you go to the table design tab, you can go to borders and choose no borders. Now to get the lines in your table, just click somewhere in the table, and then go to the table design tab, if you're not already on it, and then go to the border painter, and what you can do then is draw the lines where you want them to appear. So I'm going to do it at the bottom of each of these cells. Now to get rid of this border painter tool, just go back to the border painter button. And you can see you now have the lines that you can type into. If you think the lines are too long, then you can just go up to the ruler, which is above your document. And if you can't see that, just go to view and then tick ruler and then you can drag this little control here over to the left and that will shorten the length of the line so if i want to type into a particular line and just click into it and type my text and then i can tab twice to go down to the next line etc etc now, if you want to change the spacing between the lines within your table, what you need to do is select everything but the first row, and then go to the Layout tab on your ribbon. In the Cell Size Group, change the height, increase it to whatever you want it to be. And then you need to change the alignment of the text. So in the Alignment Group, choose this button here, Align Bottom Left and that will change the spacing between the lines in your document. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.